This is the story of a dog named Dinky. He was the cutest little doggy at the neighborhood. And so we took him home. This Dinky doggy. And he grew and grew and grew and grew. And he is a Dinky doggy anymore. No more. And he is a Dinky doggy anymore. No, no, Dinky, no. If we sell enough vacuum cleaners, it'll pay for its food. Oh, whoa! <laughs> oh, poor Dinkums was afraid. Poor Monica's afraid that poor Dinkums has ruined the poor car. <laughs> Look, there's a house. Maybe they have a phone. And maybe I can sell them a vacuum cleaner. Visitors, I better make myself presentable. Hello, I'm Mrs. Cackle. Come in. Oh my, it's so nice to have unexpected guests. Uh, well, uh, we weren't planning to stay, Mrs. Cackle. Uh, we just want to use your phone. Phone? Oh, uh, let's see. Now we had a phone somewhere. Oh yes, there it is. On second thought, perhaps we will stay the night. Good. Just pick any room. I'm going to change into something more comfortable. <laughs> there, that's better. Now, let me see. A black bat's claw, a lizard's tail, gives you powers that never fail. But not unless you met the two shaggy dog's hairs in the brew. Shaggy dog's hairs, huh? Well, they don't come any shaggier than that dinky dog. A few snips off him and I'll be the witchiest witch which ever witched. <laughs> Ooh, I almost forgot. Boy, here we're stuck in this dusty dump and you're fooling with a dumb vacuum cleaner. That's the idea. Maybe I could make my first sale to Mrs. Cackle so she can clean this place up. Oh, still you bumbling bow wow. Monica, will you plug this cord in? I want to be all set to show Mrs. Cackle. Okay, here we go. Don't oh, turn off that blasted vacuum. It's stirring up a draft on my neck. And dog hair till I get rid of those interfering idiots. Now, where is that magic powder? Aha! Uh -huh, there you are. The only bottle in existence. One sprinkle of this and poof! No more unwanted guests. <laughs> Gee, I wish Mrs. Cackle would come back so I could demonstrate this vacuum cleaner. Why wait? Give that carpet a shot and then show her how clean it is. That's a good idea, Monica. Jeepers! I can't stop it! Oh, dear. How will I explain this to Mrs. Cackle? You better think fast. Here she comes. Oh, oh, wait! Well, Mrs. Cackle, imagine running into you here. My powder? Where is my powder? Oh, uh, you mean this stuff? Don't worry about a thing, Mrs. Cackle. That powder will disappear like magic. Like magic. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, now, would someone help me out from under this hairy monster? There. I must be getting absent-minded. Got it! <laughs> oh! Notice how easily the handy dandy vacuum gets rid of dog hair, Mrs. Cackle. <laughs> yes, I noticed. Uh, do you suppose it could get rid of a lot of dog hair? Is say a whole dog's worth? Aha! Uh -huh. It's that dumb dog. Now's my chance. And just to make sure, I'll make myself invisible. Sneak up 
quietly and... Dinky, where are you? Oh, 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 oh. Well, back to the old drawing board. Get off you, you mutated mutt! You, you spilled that whole box of... Phil, what is all this junk? This isn't junk. These are the attachments for the vacuum cleaner. This one is a combination watering can and tire pump. And the next one is... A tire pump? That means we can fix the car. And get back to civilization. Let's go. Right. This calls for desperate measures. Time to dress for the evening. Get a little basic black. <laughs> Come, dearie, it's time to make a sweep around the yard. Now, where did they go? It worked! Fill the other tires and let's get going. Aha, uh -huh, there they are, and that nitwit dog is with them. Oh, fiddle faddle! Doesn't that dog ever stay still? Oh, I should have kept up with my flying lessons. I'm out of practice. Dinky! Dinky, come here! I'll give you ten seconds to get out of town, or I'll turn you into a canary. This calls for some delaying tactics. Aha! He fell for it! Oh no! I'm bogged in! Mrs. Cackle? Good news! The car is fixed! Oh, well, I'm so happy for you. Yes, indeed. Why, Mrs. Cackle, you look all tired out. Well, no wonder, trying to sweep this big porch with that old broom. What you need is a handy-dandy vacuum cleaner. Right, Monica? Right, Sandy. Oh, why don't we demonstrate it for Mrs. Cackle? It's a deal. I'll buy the vacuum cleaner if you'll all try some of my homemade brew. Oh, I mean soup before you go. Gee, my first sale. I'd love to try your soup, Mrs. Cackle. Me too. I'm starving. Yeah, a little hot soup will really hit the spot. Wait here. I'll bring it out. Hit the spot indeed. <laughs> a little of my witch's brew and they won't be going anywhere. Here we are, dearies. Eat hearty now. Nothing like a bowl of hot soup on a night like... Oh! oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Cackle. Dinky was just returning your broom. Oh, dear. Look at your dress. You'd better go change. You bet your life I'm gonna change. Mrs. Cackle, I hardly recognize you. Me either. Why didn't you tell us you were going to a costume party? You'll win first prize for sure. You make a wonderful witch. And you'll all make wonderful toads. Huh? What's wrong? <laughs> no wonder. This is the spaghetti maker attachment for your new vacuum cleaner. My wand! Where is my magic wand? Give Mrs. Cackle her wand, Dinky. No, no, stay away from me. No, now go away. Shoo, shoo. I That's funny. I thought she liked Dinky. Me too. Oh, well, let's get going. Dinky, come on, we're leaving. Well, off we go. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, Mrs. Cackle. Goodbye. Say goodbye to Mrs. Cackle, Dinky. Bow wow yourself, you bungling buffalo. Bid it, bid it, bid it.